Kill me now. Just kill me now. <sighs> Two hours and 51 minutes of attempts. In case you're wondering why there wasn't a death montage, or I'm not sure if I'm going to do a partial death montage, I'll probably do a partial death montage, so in case you're wondering why there's only a partial death montage, I'm pretty sure the death montage would be an episode on its own, but forget it. I feel a bit less bad that that was one of the final bosses of the Lord of Cinder, but honestly, I'm really frustrated right now. Like, I don't know if I want to keep making this a full-sized episode frustrated. They still won. Turns out you can backstab them, so that helped a lot. Also turns out that you can, at 26, get acute arthritis in the knuckle of your thumb. Like the base knuckle where it connects to your hand. I'm gonna have to put an ice pack on that. That's actually, you know what? I am gonna end this episode short because I literally need to ice my hand. Actually, I probably need to ice my hand two hours ago. I mean, I hate to be down anything. I'll explore a tiny bit. <clears throat> but, yeah. I just... Uh, I was gonna say that boss felt like it was kind of a black mark on Dark Souls 3, and I still kind of stand by that. I mean, it's not a terrible boss once you get how it works, but it's... It feels like a boss that was designed for Bloodborne, but Dark Souls 3 doesn't have the rally mechanic, it doesn't have ranged parrying, it doesn't have... I mean, the healing's about as fast. But... It doesn't have the same kind of flexibility of weapons where you can very easily switch. Like, you can't switch weapons mid-combo in Dark Souls 3. So, I just feel like that entire boss fight was built around Bloodborne's mechanics. Despite the fact that Dark Souls 3 lacks one of those mechanics. Well, a couple of them. I mean, I think the range parry is here, neither here nor there. You could live without it. But the rally mechanic... I feel like that makes a big difference. But, I don't know. It just feels like that was not designed for this game exactly. I would not be surprised if that was a cut boss for Bloodborne that get shoved into Dark Souls 3. That did not feel very well put together. I don't know. It just... I hate to say that. I feel like it just makes it like, Oh, that was hard. You didn't like it, scrub. When are you going to be a real man, huh? Like, that's the impression I feel like some people would have. I imagine none of my viewers, you guys seem nice. Can't say why, but you seem nice, thank you. But it's, yeah, that's the thing. I just don't, I don't know. <sighs> I just, yeah. I just didn't like, I, I don't know, that boss. <sighs> I mean, it wasn't the worst thing in the world. It probably looked a lot worse than it was. Like, there was... The second Watcher, that came up a lot of the time, but that second Watcher came up, and then the first Watcher kind of held back for a while. So you could actually kill the second Watcher if you wanted to, but then the third Watcher would come up, and if you had the second Watcher still alive, the third Watcher would more often than not go for the second Watcher or the main Watcher. <clears throat> if you had killed the second Watcher, the third Watcher would go straight for you, and basically not go for anybody else. So it was a bit of a weird tactical thing. I mean, the idea isn't bad on its face, but I don't know. Dark Souls' combat system is not great for large groups. Like, it's okay given that they're pretty easy to kill enemies. Like, honestly, if I were to find one of those enemies just randomly in a hall somewhere, they would not be hard to deal with. You just kind of roll past them, slash them. Like, my full stamina bar can kill them. If there's no one else around supporting, I can just slash them to death with the full stamina bar with this weapon. I think either this weapon or the Claymore, honestly. So, that really doesn't matter. But, yeah, I just don't know what to make of that boss. It just felt like it was not designed specifically for Dark Souls 3. It felt like it was designed for Bloodborne, and then put into Dark Souls 3. But maybe it's because I'm not using a shield. I mean, Dark Souls 3 is supposed to be that flexible. So, or, Dark Souls in general is meant to be fairly flexible, as far as I know. So, this should be something flexible enough, but I don't know. It was just... <sighs> Range Fairy would have been really nice, though. My goodness, would that have saved my... I probably would have had 
only like five or six tries if I had a ranged parry mechanic without even the rally mechanic, just the ranged parry alone. Because I can't parry. Like, this is my... This is, would be parry if parry existed as part of the weapons, but it doesn't. So yeah. Anyway, there's a couple items of business to do and deal with first. Ah, well, tis good, wasn't it? Like that Farron Cole I found a couple episodes ago. Oh, my. This coal is from the Undead Legion. Used to forge the weapons of Farron's Abyss Watchers. A fine prize. I'm honored to be endued with it. Now I'll be equipped to infuse <laughs> special gems. Praise the gods, eh? Time to put this brawn to use. <laughs> All right, let's get back to my magic estus. Actually, it turns out I don't think I needed all eight. <laughs> really, if I had gone down to like five estus before I died, or before sorry, before the second phase, I was dead most of the time. Not not because I needed the estus, but because having it or not having it is pretty much the clearest indicator of whether or not I'd be able to survive. Essentially, <laughs> so refined gems, better scaling. At this point, not relevant. Better deck scaling. Better strength scaling, better deck scaling, and better scaling. Yeah, I'm not going to worry about these right now. And no scaling! Okay, we already kind of know how all these work. Alright, so... Weapons, but... Wait, no, you're... But I think so. You're not telling me anything I don't really know. Alright. Pretty be careful. Well, I beat a Lord of Cinder, so let's see what people say. If anything. Oh, and in one. You can pause that. Nope, and Greyrat is not going to go robbing again. I did have Greyrat go thieve some people just because I wasn't sure what it would do, and it got more items, so yeah, that was a good idea. Speak honorable. That a lord bear for a Nope. Tell him. Okay, maybe the firekeeper? I don't know. Maybe you. You haven't given up yet. Then you're a brasher less than I thought. You can make better use of this. I don't need it. Not now I've flown the coop. <laughs> the Undead Legion of Farron is a caravan of undead, sworn by wolf's blood to contain the abyss. The Legion will bury a kingdom at the first sign of exposure. I believe it. Joyous bunch, really. I believe they'd be capable Gaining of it. Mission to the Legion is a matter of some ceremony. No, it isn't. Inside their keep, snuffing out the flames of three altars opens the door to the wolf blood. Which I've already found. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Even a cursed undead want to believe they're special, it seems. I pity the sorry souls. <laughs> Gaining admission to the Eve I I kinda have that admission. Unless I miss something. Unless there's something back where I left off the boss. But yeah, I kinda have admission, I think. Maybe watchdogs are a different rank. Anyway, let's just read the stuff I saw. So first, Soul of the Blood of the Wolf. One of the twisted souls steeped in strength. Used to grind my souls, etc. The blood was spread among the Abyss Watchers, and their souls are one with the soul of the Wolf Blood Master. Huh. I really wonder if there was some covenant thing I missed. Like, maybe if I had put on my Farron covenant seal thing, I would have actually had... Is it on here? No. Okay. Oh, it is. Yeah, if I put on the Watchdogs of Farron seal, if I would have not had the boss fight? I don't know. Would have come peacefully? No, I don't need shields or anything. I got something else. Oh, Sinners of a Lord. Sinners of a Lord left by the Abyss Watchers. If the Lords will not return to the thrones themselves, let them return as Cinders. The Watchers of the Abyss swore upon their shared wolf's blood, which also served as their mandate as lords. Now, I've got to be honest, one of the things that bugged me, I think, the most about that fight, I had nowhere else to go. Like, I had no other... I, it, there's five... Well, four. One's already here. Five, four, four... Four Lords of the Abyss. I mean, Lords of Cinder. I'm getting confused. Four Lords of Cinder... And you can only fight them one at a time, starting with the Watchdogs, or rather, the Abyss Watchers. I don't know who's next. I'm guessing Yorm is last. No, no, Yorm, not Yorm. I'm guessing Lothric's last. 
Yorm's probably not last, but it's like... I can see Lothric being last. Actually, what I can see is you put all the sin, all the Lords of Cinder's ashes there, and then it ends up producing some super final boss. Maybe it's one of the endings. I actually suspect it's one of the endings, and it's like the burn stuff ending, and this character... Well, concept, I guess, line. Every other para character that I've played in my previous games has always gone for like the Dark Lord ending or the no-fire ending. Despite being a sun bro, it's a weird thing, but it's like a humanistic idea. No. Forget the fire of the gods. Let dark of the humanity reign. Let the dark of humanity reign. That's kind of the idea. Anyhow. Welcome do you have anything to say? Ashen one. So I wish Ashen one. Yeah, I already did. Okay, the cool. World made of hey! Horse? Uh, oh, you! I know you. Been some time. Egon. I just dropped in to see how she's getting on. Now. What are you playing at with this circus? This cesspool of doddering old folk and degenerates. Couldn't be better. She must fit in perfectly here. <laughs> this place is... Right. Okay. How are you doing? Oh, champ, do you wish to... You know, in I will, but if I'll tear it. Uh, nothing I haven't already seen. No other items I don't know about. Let's see, learn miracles. I mean, why would you have any new miracles? But I could think about other miracles. I am going to get a fair amount have of faith. Although I could probably only get like two. And I need three to get the sunlight, or lightning spear. Not sunlight spear. Not sunlight spear yet. So I don't really want to drop the cinders of the Lord. Just knowing how Dark Souls typically works. It's a good way to get the good or the fire ending. Not even the good ending, the fire Welcome ending. Home, I want to get the dark ending. Very well. Then Unless it's something mind. super special from being hollowed and working with Londor. Maybe the Londor pilgrims are somehow special. Okay. Actually, I'm going to check something before I... Ah, no. Farewell, may the yeah, cool. I'm going to check something before I get to that. My... No, spell buffs still want to wait. Curious how much this scales with faith, but I think you have to upgrade it for it to be useful. I, I need to use this one. No, I actually don't have enough souls. Period. Like, I don't have enough liquid souls. I could sell stuff. Ah. Uh -huh. I. I mean, that was. Oh wow, twenty thousand souls. I gotta figure out if there's anything useful. Although to be fair. Their greatsword is probably, especially if their greatsword lets me do all the cool maneuvers they were doing. I gotta be honest, I want that. I really want that. Alright, so... Hmm. <clears throat> Can I get like a couple thousand souls off of this stuff? Maybe. I do want to keep like one of everything. Kinda. Sorta. Not really. Rings I don't want to get rid of. Rings seem to be irreplaceable. Uh, no. Nothing really gives me enough souls to be worth it. Like, the deserted corpse soul, yeah, that's 200, but that's only 600 total. Still 2,000 off. Is there a way of gaining 2,000 souls from selling stuff? I do not want to sell my embers. Those are precious. Don't want to sell that. Those are precious too. Certainly not want to sell this. That's the last thing I want to sell. Eh. Looks like no. I mean, I guess I could sell off all these shields. Actually, the two crest shields are a thousand alone. Eh, not that desperate. Ashen one. Huh? Yeah, I know. I know. So I'm two faith away. Actually, I could get homeward right now. Not really a big deal. I think... How many homework bones do I have? I have 10 homework bones. No, that's not a big deal at all. All right. So I think we're done here. Actually, no, we're not done here. Holy crap, are we not done here? Do you have any, uh -huh. any crossbow bolts I used? Less than you think. All right, the tower key. I'll get that at some point later. I don't really care. I'm not that worried. I'll get to it when I get to it. Of course, it turns out that that's like a totally new path that if I'd taken, it would have made my life more interesting. But yeah, whatever. Ashen I'm gonna get some standard bolts. I kind of want to get some heavy bolts because, you know, maybe I'm complaining about this range parry thing so oh, much. It turns out 
Range parry is actually a property of the Heavy Bolt, which I have not gotten at all. Let's get a few. Do some experiments. And then get as many standard bolts as possible. Goodbye. <laughs> But yeah, I think I used up probably about 200 bolts in that fight. 200, 250 bolts throughout all the attempts. I didn't actually use that many just because I was primarily focusing on the sword because I didn't have a huge amount of option, huge amount of shot options. I, I did fire from time to time because that's kind of how this works. But yeah, anyway, well, Abyss Watchers, what's here? Ay, at least I don't have any souls to lose. They're all in crossbow bolts. Actually, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to set the heavy bolt on. Because what's the point otherwise, you know? I ain't got to test out this heavy bolt. Okay, what's this? Whoa, what? Oh. Ah, the Cathedral of the Deep. Which is the next place to go. I Man, what do you guys think the over-under is that the next thing I'm going to fight is another one of those Irithyll Knight dog things? Like the one that got the sword from. Oh, Catacombs of Carthus. That's a different one. Hey, Sun Bros. Okay, you know, I... Okay. I bet someone's going to tell me something along the lines of in the comments, like, Oh no, you shouldn't have gone to the catacombs, you've ruined the quest line! It's like... I heard something about that. One of those, oh crap, I need divine weapons if I don't want to... Where's the necromancer? Oh, there's the necromancer. I think. Get back here. I can kill you. I don't have to kill you. What? Nope, they killed themselves. And that apparently was the Necromancer. Oh, right, need to be loaded first. I can't test this thing. Oh, well. Pfft. Not exactly parry, it's more just outright kill. Nope, it's just damage from the looks of it. Nope. Okay, so I guess there is no way to ranged parry in this game. Or if there is, it's some special weapon. Possibly it will be some new thing in the DLC or something. I don't know. But hey, we got a new area! Whoa! Carthus Rouge, what's that? Adds lacerating effect. Ooh, bleed! Highly viscous scarlet plant secretions. Tempor temporarily applies bleeding effect to right-hand weapon. Associated with the warriors of Carthus, whose blades take on the scarlet hues of both this sanguine substance and the splatters of their victim's blood. <sighs> okay, so... My goal's down there. I have two ways of going. Either drop and probably die. Is that what I think it is? Oops. <sighs> what do I think it is? Yeah, it's Titanite Lizard. Okay, cool. There's Mad Spears down here, too. Alright, well, I think... Uh, I guess this is another little while. I need to ice my hand. Actually, you know what? Come to think of it, that's right. I'm getting so excited about finally having a new area and not bash my head against a wall for another three hours! Yay! Although, that's seriously discouraging me from, continuing, from contemplating New Game Plus. Like, I mean, the second time I do it, it'll probably be, like, five tries, but... Still, that was painful. Man, I hope necromancers don't respawn. 
All right, no, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go back. <sighs> it's just not worth it right now. I mean, if you think about it, what do I really have to gain? What does this say? Grub ahead. I still don't know what does secrets in this game. Whoa, 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 whoa! Okay, actually, that's that's a valid way down. It's a really risky way down, but it is a valid way down. That's the run back path. That's the first time through. Let's see what happens here path. Visions of quite something. Quite something ahead. I like know what that is because I don't know what it is. Come on. Oh well. It's quite something. I hope you enjoy something. We've got lots of that. Alright, alright, let's just... Yeah, anyway. <laughs> I know, I'm super hollowed, but I feel like there's something gonna happen if I'm staying hollowed, or something that's gonna happen if I stay hollowed. So, I oh wait! Shoot, I just remembered one last thing. Let's do one more thing before we end this episode. Oh, I was so hoping to get a backlog. I'll get a backlog tomorrow. But yeah, one more thing before we end this episode, and I go ice my hand. I hate to harp on that, but... Yeah. Like, ow. <laughs> I hate to whine, but... I mean, carpal tunnel syndrome and repetitive strain injury is a serious deal. It's not even a question of masculinity or any bullshit like that. Although masculinity is kind of bullshit to begin with, but whatever. Uh, so. Yes, I have! Oh. So that's what it is. Huh. It parries, too. Although that's two-handed, but still. That is... Oh, okay. Wait a... Oh! <gasps> what? It doesn't, doesn't require faith in... I mean, it has the same strength and dex requirements that I'd expect, but not the faith and intelligence requirements I expect. This is... The Great Sword of Artorius. Or at least one of the versions of the Great Sword of Artorius. I'm not sure if I mentioned before, I think I mentioned before, that one of the other things the, well, I guess Katrina Para, the first character of this type, was designed around was building towards the great, the true Great Sword of Artorias, which kind of messed up because the move said that's crap. But that was what I was building up towards, and I feel like I kind of want to buy this. Like, I almost wish I had checked first before I got, I mean, I need the bolts, so it's not a big deal. But I also to check before I got the bolts. Not that I can wield it yet, because I need a lot more strength and dex. But I don't need the int and faith, which suggests to me that this is like a mundane version of the same sword. <sighs> Although it does have vertically slashing some result. Yeah, that's those are the moves. Like those are the Artorias the Knight Artorias moves. Especially the somersault thing. Like, that's. Huh. I mean, that's probably, like, the Abyss Greatsword rather than the true Greatsword of Artorias. Well, we're certainly not using that soul for anything else. Like, that's... That's a soul which will be used... Ah, most illustrious oh. Lord hey. Seeker. Or should I say, Lord Slayer? Fine kindling for the thrones, is it not? Each soul truly worthy of Lordship. And all slain by thy hand, to bind them to their thrones, even in death. Oh, I have no qualms. For as we are to our thrones, thou art to thy duty. In fact, methinks thou hast helped these poor lords along their rightful path. I disagree, but okay, but yeah. That soul? We're saving that soul. I want that great sword. Ah, most of it. Now. I don't... I mean, if it's as bad as the true great sword of Artorias... The problem with the true great sword of Artorias was that the strong attack swing took seconds. Like, three or four seconds of wind-up time. Which is kind of unreasonable. So, yeah. But, who knows? Maybe this will be better. I'd be interested in trying it out. 
I'm kind of excited about that. That's 10,000. That's the next 10,000 souls goal. Almost. Ugh. But I need like 25,000 souls to get my next faith. And then I get lightning spear. So we need about 35,000 souls. Or so. Actually, I'm going to take off Heavy Bolt because clearly that was a waste of money. But yeah, so 35,000 souls is kind of the next goal in total for Lightning Spear and for True Grid, or the Great Sword of Artorias, the Watcher's Great Sword, you know what I mean. Well, you might not. If you haven't played Dark Souls 1, or rather the Artorias of the Abyss expansion, you don't know what I mean. Although, Sif was in the original game, you could get the Great Sword of Artorias in the original game. Anyhow, that's going to be it for me tonight. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed that. I mean, I hope it was better for you than it was for me. Now I gotta get some ice.